Hi guys and welcome to today's video on modeling geometric growth and decay. Wow, hold on a moment. Geometric growth and decay? What was all that about? What is all that about, he says, and getting that all sorted for you now. In previous videos for this further math scheme, we've been looking at linear growth and decay. That's where we add on or take away the same value from our investment or our loan or whatever it is we were dealing with. Hate to tell you this, that nothing in life is simple. You see what I did there? Nope, it was bad, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Um, we're now going to sort of ramp up the complexity just a little bit. But the good news is the basic formula we've been using in the previous videos, you've been watching the previous videos, hopefully you have, actually is fairly much or very much the same. We're just tweaking bits. So your formula books or your summary books or whatever you're going to take into an exam with you is going to be freaking awesome because you're just going to have the page of the same formula, really. Now, my name is Darren, otherwise known as Mass Guru, and thank you very much for watching. If you can, there is a arrow in the corner now pointing to a little doohickey that will help you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I am just one person doing these videos on my own. Very sad, very lonely sitting in a room, but hopefully for your benefit. So clicking that button really, really does help. Help me. Now, as I normally do in my lessons, here is a recap. And as I said to you just a moment ago, we've been looking at flat rate depreciation, unit cost depreciation, simple interest, and all of these things, every single formula, if you remember, had a plus or a minus D. Now, okay, the last video, yes, we ramped it up and I gave you one example here where we were basically changing the formula ever so slightly from the idea of the next term is given by the previous term plus or minus some sort of common difference or payment to, oh, we can find a value 20 years into the future if I wanted to, so long as I know my initial value plus the number of payments that I'm making times the actual payment. So again, this is what I explained in a previous video. If that made sense to you, absolutely awesome. But the great thing here, or, or, or the point of all of this, was it was simple interest. We were adding on or taking away the same amount every single time. But I'd get a little bit annoyed if, say, I had a million dollars in the bank. And trust me, I don't. I can't even make it to a thousand subscribers. Wow, because nobody wants to watch math videos. Who wants to watch math videos? If I had a million dollars in the bank, and they gave me $20 a month in interest, I tell you what, I'd be a little bit annoyed. On the flip side, if I had $5 in the bank and they gave me $20 uh, a month, I'd be quite stoked because I was be quids in. Now, obviously, the more money we put in the bank, hopefully we would like more interest. And I don't know about you, but the more interest I get, I'd like to actually have some interest on the interest. I wanna keep getting richer and richer and richer. And actually that is called compound interest. So when you're actually getting more and more and more each month, because you're getting interest on the interest on the interest on the interest, then it's called compound interest. And we love that. Well, we do if we're actually paying money into the bank. Fortunately, banks like to power charge compound interest on mortgages and loans as well. So the problem is the more and the longer you have the loan, the more and more and more they charge you. Yes, thank you, banks. Greatly appreciated. Hmm, maybe. More on that in another video. So we need to now start to model the idea of not things getting sort of bigger and bigger in a linear, in a line, but what we call geometric growth. And geometric growth is when things actually start to curve. And I've got a great example for you here. Now, don't press stop, not just yet, guys. This is a preview video and you've reached almost the end of it, but it does continue over on mathsguru.com. Mathsguru.com, yep, that's my custom website. Bits of it you can see around me at the moment. That has been designed to allow the videos to be easier searched than they are on YouTube. So you can search by chapter, by textbook. Each video has downloadable notes for you, so you can put them in your summary book or your exercise book. There are exam questions, and there is more and more content and more stuff coming as time allows. So head on over there. It's absolutely free to sign up and I'm doing everything I can to make sure that you guys enjoy maths and actually take out the mastery of maths. It is not as hard as you think. It is all smoke and mirrors. Okay, thanks very much. Take care guys. I look forward to seeing you in another video. Stay safe.